You are now tuned in to Heat Check with Ty Slatter and Antonio Turner right here on GTA Sports Network. Follow GTA Sports Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, GTA Sports. And don't forget GTASportsNet.com for all things in the world of sports. Golden State. I'm getting a lot of rumblings from Golden State. Um, whether it's to trade Clay, which I just posted a video about that this morning, um, or the un the, the controversial option, trade Steph and just get a bunch, get an overhaul and start just reset the whole clock and go to state. Like if you were in the GM office in Golden State and you see Steph putting 60 points in a loss last night, drop 60. Yeah. Do you say we keep Steph and try to build around him, or do we get an overhaul and just start all over and go young? And I think just... you got. I think you got to keep Steph as much as because Steph's not no spring chicken. It's big, yeah. But see, the position he plays, he can play it for a while. Style That's of play, true. that's true. You know, as as the arm working, he can Catch play and that. Shoot. He you ain't know, got to run no more if he don't want to. Yeah, and he's playing at a high level, you know. So right. I think. Clay isn't just he. I said this. I said this the year they won the championship. Twenty twenty. They got said, lucky because if the Celtics had won that, Clay would have been gone. I said, man. I said Clay just really ain't who he used to be, you know. And those and leg injuries that. took took a lot of his athleticism. Uh, not the best defender anymore. He went nope. like four four for nineteen last night. I'm like, what is happening? Brick City. What is happening? You know. So it was like, imagine if he was just himself. The Warriors right. beat. Third seed alone, just on them two. They're at 12th right now. They're at, they might have dropped two. some more. Oh, wait, yeah, no. So, uh, just on them two being who they are, they can be third or fourth seed off the rip just because of the talent. But yeah, they 12th now. Sheesh. But it's just, I think you got it. You would have to trade Clay. You would have to trade Clay. I agree. To see, to see if, he, you know, he gets a new gets a new burst of energy or something. Um, They got young pieces. Uh, Who's the kid? Kaminga? Yeah, Kaminga. Yeah. Nice. Nice, you know. They had pieces. They had Jordan Poole. They got they had people to to um you no know, restart it. The, the restart that you're saying. But they then they won that chip in 2022 and tried to run it back. I'm like, nah, see. Yeah. And then they just started letting people go. The whole punch thing happened. So people had to get out of there. But they had a recipe of like a good transition plan for Steph going out of there, Clay going out of there because Jordan Poole, not they may not again, I'm not comparing them, but just just to have some talent. No, I agree. Just, Watch they, team. They had a plan. I feel like um Bob Myers, the former former guy that, that left the front office, mm -hmm. um, saw the writing on the wall. He did. And was like, okay, I've done everything I can with this with these guys. I helped yep. develop and culture, you know, cultivate this culture we built. But mm -hmm. with Dre spiral nine control, Steph getting hurt, because he went through a couple bad years where he got hurt. Yep. Clay was down for two years. He's like, Yeah, this, this ain't. I'm not, I'm not gonna take the fall for this, so I gotta get he, it right. That 2022 champ, he was like, "Yeah, okay." It's, it's really over now. We go, yeah. Let me just, yeah. You gotta, you gotta get out early. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get out where, where they don't fall on you. You know, give that pressure to somebody else. Mm -hmm. I think Don Levy's over there now. So, but yeah, I, but I will say this: <clears throat> somebody asked me this morning. It was like, um, "Is the Warriors dynasty over?" I said, "I won't say that again because I did say that in 2022." Prior to winning. <laughs> and the food won immediately after. So I'm going to shut up because at the same time, people will want to play with Steph. Right. People, they can get players. Just like people come to Miami, they can get players to go to Golden State. Very true. He's still there, people going to want to play with him. That's true. He's going to garner double teams. He's going to kick it out to people. People are going to want to play with Steph. So I'm not going to say that yet because, again, I learned my lesson, but um, it's not looking good for them. Um you know, I know, I know a lot of people are rejoicing in that, and so, so it's just funny to see that. But um, you, you know, being a Laker and Miami guy, you've seen where where people love you and then they hate you because you're winning too much. So it, yeah. it's it's inevitable. For sure, for sure. Like just, I mean, again, I, I'm just being in South Florida. I like to watch. I like to watch the Heat. So I've seen the up and down. Yeah. Um, and then same thing for the Lakers as well. I think uh, that fan base, the Laker fan base, is so big, bro. It's like. The, the hate is going to be there because they have so much fans all over the world. You know, a lot of their games global, are way global. away from yeah. So I think California took a little shift when Golden State started to play, started to get good. It did. Um, 
Well, and, and the Clippers started to get good too, but then I think Golden State knocked the Clippers out in the playoffs. I they did. They, 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 the Warriors arguably that was it between OKC, which I'm gonna get to them in a second. Between mm -hmm. OKC and the Warriors coming up simultaneously, it took the light away from the Clippers, Live City, because Live City got hurt every year. Mm -hmm. yep. So when they fell because of injuries, CP3 and Blake got hurt. The, the light shifted to Oakland at the time before they moved to San yep. Fran and mm -hmm. Oklahoma City. Yep, yep. So I think that's where, that's where that is now. They had to run, you know. Again, I'm not <laughs> want to count them out because they got that bad boy over there. Like you said, dropping sixty. But it's just it's it's this year it's probably cooked. This year it's probably cooked. But I'm talking like you're gonna have to do something with Clay. I don't think Clay stays there honestly because I no. think he didn't resign last year, right? They were supposed to no. They they didn't agree. So they had a uh, they had negotiations this year to extend him, mm -hmm. and they didn't come to an agreement because he wants more money than what he's obviously worth now. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't come to terms because Dunleavy's like, I'm not paying you that much. Yeah, I was like, and, I ain't buying. So <laughs> you ain't you yeah. ain't gonna take you ain't gonna take my job. So right. what the, the 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 biggest rumor for Clay as far as a landing spot is ironically your Lakers because his father yeah. played for your Lakers, Michael Thompson. Yeah, I wouldn't so, mind. And I he already mind. said if he ever left Golden State, he would want to play for the Lakers at least one season. You know, yeah. for his dad, his dad still calls the games for y'all in L.A. Right. And I wouldn't I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind Clay at all. Like as much as he might be like quote unquote washed for, for Golden State, he's made it a fresh start, man. Like he'll still work for y'all. <laughs> the man he might need a fresh start, man. And he'd be the best shooter that we have, regardless. Bot you know, bar, like number one option on, on scoring. Just talent. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know, he, he, just a slump that he's in is unfortunate, but I think that he, he might need a fresh start. I think I don't think he's I don't think he retires uh, uh a warrior, and then when he leaves, then I might say the dynasty is all right. It, this is it. You know, if Clay, le if Clay leaves, I, I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with you on that. Just so, just just to to solidify it, if if Clay leaves Golden State, the dynasty is over. Yeah, because one no respect, no respect to Draymond, but Draymond, Draymond is Draymond. Yeah, he's a he's the glue guy though. He's he he's, is he's that, the, he's that the soul of the team. Because if but, but, he wasn't, but, okay, wait, right. no, no because. I would say because if he wasn't, if he wasn't one of the most key, key pieces, they wouldn't have let, you know, Pool go. They would have kept Pool. I away. agree. They would have kept Pool and let Dre go for sure. Dre is Dre probably does so much intangible stuff in the locker room that people don't know about. Stats, yeah, just so, stats don't tell the whole story at all. So it's it's things like that when you it's bigger than basketball for mm -hmm. him go to state in that franchise in that city. Yeah. So I think those when you put those variable, variables in it. That's why he's there. Obviously, he does stuff on the court. You know, outside of the, the crazy stuff, I mean, he's mm -hmm. a very smart player just as far as you no know, understanding the game and the schemes and stuff like that, bro. You don't yeah. you don't get this far no. scoring five points for no reason. No. You're on the court for a reason. So You got yeah. paid a $100 million extension. You're worth reason. something to someone. Right. 